And you've been married eight years. Yes. How did you meet? Well, um, he lived in the flat below me. We'd hardly exchanged two words together, and one day he just stopped me in the hall and proposed. <laughs> it was a lovely day all round, actually, because earlier that morning I'd won £70,000 on the pools. Was it a good marriage? Oh, yes, he's lovely. Lovely. One night I come home two hours early because one of my evening classes was cancelled. And uh, he was still in, he was in bed waiting for me. Yes. He'd sprayed perfume all round the bedroom and there was a complete set of underwear hidden under the pillow. Are you, are you sure he isn't seeing anyone else? I mean, what about that incident you mentioned earlier? Oh, no, no. Well, apparently, um, the lady had trouble with the Cortina. Come in to find the RIC. Taken off all the clothes so as not to get oil on the telephone table. <laughs> Lie on the floor because they take such a time answering. And a rare tropical spider come out from behind the skirting. <laughs> it's bitter in the bosom. And uh, my husband was just sucking the poison out. <laughs> Is he in any way repressive? Oh, no. He loves me to go out. Yes, I do yoga, upholstery, car maintenance, meals on wheels, uh, bookkeeping, beekeeping, and secretarial Spanish. Yes, I used to be 12 stone. You're a lollipop lady. <laughs> yes, oh, we have endless fun with that, my husband and I. There's a very dangerous corner right by my crossing, and he's forever zooming round it in top gear, trying to catch me in the middle of the road. Is he a violent man? Oh, no. What about your head injury? I mean, did he hit you deliberately? Oh, no. He was just trying to dislodge a dying wasp from my hair, please, with a rolling pin. <laughs> He made several attempts with various kitchen utensils. No, I mean, it's, it's a very modern marriage, really, you know. I mean, he cooks for me. He's not very good at it, bless him. <laughs> Did me a curry last week full of glass. <laughs> but no, no, he'll do anything for me. Holds me handbag when I go hang gliding, you know. And it was his idea, actually, that I should swim the channel. Yes, ooh, it was cold. I shall never forget him leaning over the side of the boat, dangling an electric fire into the water. It's terribly kind. Why do you want a divorce? Well, I don't know, really. I mean, it's all very nice and cosy, you know, but I've just got this feeling I want to live dangerously. <laughs>